Well, hello again. We're working on a 1992 Evinrude Intruder 150 and having some problems here with draining the lower unit. So just want to show you some little things that uh, can be utilized to be able to get these little screws out. You notice there's a screw right there and there's also one down here for the drain. So. We'll uh, show you a few tips that you can use to get that out. These uh, have been stuck in and we'll, uh, we'll show you those. So back to the drain plugs on the lower unit. The, uh, so I've tried a number of things, heating up the, uh, the screw with uh, heat, uh, hoping that the uh, aluminum would heat up, being that that has a different uh, expanding temperature, but that failed. And then I tried, of course, uh, the, the screwdrivers that would fit on the screw could not get it off. And then I decided the next best thing would be to drill it. So I went ahead and began drilling the hole. And my plan is to drill it partway through and then put an extractor in there and see if we can get it out. I put the extractor in there and then gave it a little twist uh, with a crescent wrench and it started coming out very easy. Now just one important thing to remember, this is stainless steel, so drilling, make sure that you have a, a good bit uh, that's able to work with stainless steel, such as a titanium. But one of the main things is drill slow and also use a coolant. So I've been using uh, just some blaster, uh, occasionally just spraying it in the hole. And then you wanna make sure that uh, don't go too fast on that drill and just go really slow and apply pressure and uh, when you get the hole deep enough go ahead and try and get the extractor in there. So the screw came out pretty easily with that extractor. Didn't have to apply much pressure and here's uh, our stainless steel screw there. Notice there's a lot of material there on there on the magnet so uh, make sure um, you want to put in a new one, new screw. I'm not going to use this one again. I'm going to use a hex one instead and then also you want to make sure to change that oil periodically uh, at least once a year okay so now we're going to work on the lower one down here um, same problem with this one we'll go ahead and see what we can do about drilling that one out as well the uh, lower screw on the lower unit uh, before i started drilling i just uh, did a little tapping with a uh, oh just a little center punch kind of a broad one and i just was able to grab a place there do some light tapping and it broke loose so we'll be able to pull this one out real easy and just remember if you do a tapping method be careful tap really really light you don't want to break any of this aluminum housing here or anything of that nature so this is going to make uh, this uh, lower unit oil change really really easy We'll uh, show you some other pointers on that as well. This is a, an example of the plugs, which I'm replacing this uh, engine with, um, using the little Allen wrench instead of the conventional slotted screw, which will make uh, easier draining uh, of the lower unit in, uh, in the future. So these parts, uh, make sure that you get your model number. You can get your model number off the engine, uh, contact uh, a dealer, um, or you can look it up online and with that model number and find out the uh, part and go ahead and uh, uh, make your purchase and check Amazon and other areas as well. We've completed everything as far as filling the lower unit with the oil and I just want to recap a few things. Uh, we've got uh, our new plugs here. This here is the vent plug and while you're filling you want to make sure that that vent plug is in then that way it'll make it a lot easier while you're squeezing or pumping that lube oil into the lower unit. And also, you'll want to be able to uh, make sure to find some kind of manual on your engine. We're able to locate this for the owner, and actually it's been very, very beneficial. So just doing some regular maintenance on the uh, boat allows for a great and safe journey while you uh, participate out on the waterways. So. Uh, this is Craig with BoatingTracks.com and we'll see you next time.